you are asking God to make you successful. Isn't it? In fact, God is looking at you, thinking, are you doing what the successful do? One of the quotes I really love says, if you do what the successful do, you will get the breakthrough the successful get. Do you want to know what the successful do based on Bible principle? Maybe you are one of the successful. Keep watching to discover yourself. Hello everyone, my name is Afalake Janet Oyilami. Today I'm going to talk about what the successful do based on Bible principles. But first, let me give the keyword that summarizes today's topic. Keyword for today says, success is not about money you have or material things you have. Success is about how many people becomes great through you. In the end time, the Bible made us understand that there are people whose mindset will be like the five wise virgin and there are people whose mindset will be like the five unwise virgin. I want you to know today that everybody has a spiritual eyes. Some people's spiritual eyes is wide open why some people's spiritual eyes is blind. I think that the people that have spiritual eyes is wide open are like the five virgins and the people whose spiritual eyes is blind are like the unwise five virgins. First of all, before I go deep into the topic for today, who are the successful? Successful people keep their focus on the positive, but they also see things rationally and objectively. They have realistic optimism, combining a positive outlook with a clear-eyed perspective of a situation. They believe they will succeed, but they don't delude themselves into believing they will succeed easily. You will notice that I'm comparing the successful with the five wise virgin. The successful, whom I called the five wise virgin, have these characteristics. One, they have willpower. They are self-reliance. They are patient. They have integrity. They have passion for whatever they are doing and they have connection. Now, let me go straight to the point. What exactly does the successful do based on Bible principle? Number one, they are very sensitive to the voice of God and act on it quickly. In this end time, the angels are acting very fast to put the seal of God on his children. Likewise, Satan is acting very fast. You know what he's doing? He's trying his best for the children of God never to recognize the voice of God. For this reason, you know what I do every day and what the successful do so that they will continue to recognize the voice of the Lord. They continue to confess that I recognize the voice of God and I act on it quickly and quietly. This is one of my daily confessions that keep me going on this journey of Christianity. Most of the time, God is trying to speak to you. If you are quiet and still and find time to think daily, you will hear him speak. Number two, characteristics of the successful based on Bible principle is they believe that health is wealth. Therefore, they are very wise in eating well. You know why? They believe that they are sent to this world for an assignment. 
you are also sent to this world for an assignment. And therefore, they make sure that their health is okay to carry out this assignment. Without a good health, there is no way you can carry out the assignment God sent you to do in this world. So the successful check their health regularly. If you remember most of the time Jesus ate with his disciples, we were told that they ate bread, which is unleavened bread and fish. These are kind of food that give nutrients to their body, that give them strength to do a lot of work. Checking your health and minding what you eat is part of the characteristics of the successful because they believe that they must finish the assignment God has sent them to do so that on the last day they will receive well done my child for fulfilling all what God has sent you to do. Don't let your unhealthy lifestyle cut your destiny. Don't let your unhealthy lifestyle cut the assignment God has sent you to do. Number three, the successful, who I called the wise five virgin, never expect things to be easy. But they believe in life that as they go through these challenges, these challenges strengthen them to become who God has sent them to be. They believe that through God's help, they will overcome all challenges. So if you notice that things are not working well the way you really love it to be, one, maybe you give up so soon. Number two, maybe you are expecting the challenges to be easy. But when it was not easy, you said to yourself, the dream is not from God. But you never know that when you face a lot of challenges, that is a sign that your dream is from God. Jesus also faced this lot of challenges, which shows that his dream originates from God. Maybe one of your challenges is not having money to start the business that you know God put in your mind, that you know it originates from God, and you said you don't have the money and you give up on that. You never know that the successful will find a way to get that money in the right manner to start that business. Let me give you this example. Disneyland, the owner, before he started building that Disneyland, we were told that he went to 301 bank to borrow money from them. But all of them refused and rejected him. But he keep on going. Then he went to another bank, which is the 302nd bank he had been to. And the bank accepted him and gave him the loan. And here we have today, Disneyland is life for everyone to visit. Based on these three attributes of the successful, who I call the five wise virgin, do you think you have this attribute of the successful based on Bible principles? Think on this. God's name is called the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He's looking for people who has a lion spirit, who can hear his voice to know which dream that originates from God, who can monitor their health to be able to fulfill their assignment, and who believe that challenges strengthen them to achieve their dreams in life. Are you among the successful? I hope this impacts you. I hope this encourages you to run after your dream. Speak to you soon.